Hello adventurers, welcome to another guide for Sunhaven, this time about seasonal pests and effects and how to time your crops around these issues. With patch point seven, Sunhaven got an upgrade to having all four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Each season is a total of 28 days and you have to time your crop planting accordingly. At the end of each season, your crops might die if they are not meant to be grown in that season. You'll be able to check the descriptions for each of your seeds when you plant them to determine what season they are meant to be planted in. Here are some things to remember as you start to plant your crops. Some crops are multi-seasonal. That means they can be grown in more than one season, usually back to back. Fully grown crops can be harvested in the following season if they are in their last grow stage and have the sparkles on them, meaning they're ready to harvest. Fully grown crops with the sparkles are also unaffected by seasonal effects and their seasonal pests. So they are free and clear. So there's no such thing as having your crop be grown all the way and then lose it to a pest right at the end. If a crop is unable to grow in the following season, once a season changed, it will become a withered plant that has to be removed by hand. You can't use a scythe, you can't use your sword, you're gonna have to pick those one by one by one. Now let's get into some new items that have been added in point seven that you need to be aware of to help keep your farm clear of pests and avoid those seasonal effects. The first thing we're gonna talk about is scarecrows. Scarecrows keep those pests off your farm. Now now these are, are critters that you can't go up and hack and slash and get rid of yourself. They have to be frightened off by a scarecrow. As you can see here, you've got a five by five section that surrounds a scarecrow that allows protection from those pests per season. So here I am in springtime. If I had multiple fields, I would have to have multiple of these pink hippo or baby dragon pest stopping scarecrows, okay? So you have to have the scarecrow per season. You can see I've got them lined up here for you. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. So you're gonna need multiples per season. Maybe start out with two or three per season, three spring, three summer, three fall, three winter to get you started. These are available year round. Now our second row of scarecrow looking items up top are actually called totems. They're available at Blossom's seasonal shop only during the season in which they are effective. And they are used to prevent seasonal effects, giving a boost to your farm to keep your crops growing and not stalling out due to those effects. So what are these effects and what, what do they do? These effects are seasonal occurrences that cause a plant to stop growing. You have to fix the problem before it's able to move into the next growth stage, thus changing how many days it takes to harvest a crop. Luckily, if you're starting in spring or starting a new file, you don't have any seasonal effects to be worried about. There are none to be concerned about in springtime. Just remember to get your scarecrows to prevent baby dragons from munching on your crops. In the summertime, you're going to want the summer totem. This is going to prevent wildfires from spreading on your farm and attacking crops. Now I haven't seen it consume crops completely, but you will need to use your watering can to put out these fires so growth can continue with your plants. Again, all of these totems and the scarecrows have a five by five pattern. For summertime, don't forget your scarecrow to keep the pirate raccoons at bay. So here's an example of the five by five pattern with the scarecrow and the fall totem right side by side. So you could place these very close to each other, of course not on top of each other, to be able to get as many effects in one area as possible. Now you're always gonna be one row shy or one row short of those effects on one side, but at least you've got the majority of your fields covered. For fall, pair the scarecrow with the totem to prevent vines from growing on your plants that need to be removed by the ax and rogue raccoons from devouring your crops. Finally, in winter, you need the scarecrow and totem combination to prevent winter rabbits from eating your crops and your crops from freezing over. You'll need a pickaxe to be able to break those ice cubes and get them back to growing. Make sure to pick up the scarecrows from Catherine's shop. They're available year round and pick up your totems from Blossom Seasonal Shop, which are only available in the season they are useful in. That's all you need to know to get started with planting for every single season with the pests and the new seasonal effects. Stock up on these each year you play. That way you can have a mega farm in the future. Happy farming and enjoy your adventure.